Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Trail cameras, security cameras, and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. Sightings of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, secretive creatures lurking in the shadows that defy explanation, we have it all. So buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Let's get into the captures. In the midst of their routine day-to-day -day activities, a couple stumbled upon a remarkably well-preserved appendage that didn't match any known creature they could identify. They thought about simply dismissing it and resuming their lives, however, curiosity ignited their imagination. Was this their moment of making a monumental discovery? They decided to document the unusual find by snapping photographs of the limb. It then popped in the woman's mind an intriguing thought. Could this relic potentially be the legendary Bigfoot's foot? However, it seemed too small to be a full-grown Bigfoot. After the photograph made its rounds on the internet, it was suggested that the mysterious limb could belong to a juvenile Bigfoot, either a foot or possibly a hand. They figured there was only one way to solve this mystery. If the unidentified limb's DNA could be compared to the DNA of other Bigfoot specimens. It just so happens that a Dr. Melberg Ketchum and her group profess to have conducted DNA sequencing on a myriad of specimens such as hair and tissue reportedly obtained from unidentified hominin species, popularly known as Bigfoot. The couple has been in touch with Dr. Ketchum's team, but no definitive answers have come out. Could this be the breakthrough moment to unravel the Bigfoot mystery once and for all? What do you guys think of these photographs? Just an incredible camera capture here. I love to see these predators in action. Tigers are opportunistic carnivores, which means they will eat almost anything they can catch, including turtles. Turtles would not be a preferred meal choice due to their hard shell, and tigers would typically prefer larger, meatier prey like deer, boar, or sometimes even smaller elephants. But this guy must be hungry. I mean, this guy's fast, too. A fun fact is that tigers are incredibly swift and agile for their size. They can actually reach speeds up to 35 to 40 miles per hour. And unlike most cats, they are excellent swimmers and love to bathe. They can even hunt in water and often cool themselves off in ponds and streams during hot days. Which really just means you're not safe on land or in the water. At least that's what I heard. As is customary, duels between stags involve charging at each other, utilizing their antlers to strike the adversary. If the antlers are small with only a couple of tines, the likelihood of any serious hazard during these skirmishes is generally very low. However, the situation changes when the antlers are more complex, larger, and convoluted, and the probability of their entanglement increases significantly. In this case, two deer find themselves in quite a predicament. Their antlers have become intertwined, and one appears to be on the verge of dying or dead. The other deer is exerting every ounce of its strength to try to free itself from this grim entrapment. He's in big trouble if he can't get this dead weight off of him. The deer tries and tries, but it seems that the assistance of an external force may be necessary for this creature's release. It's pretty apparent that, if left to their own devices, these deer could find themselves in quite the pickle. They need some help, particularly human assistance. Without such help, escaping this unfortunate snare could prove to be a nearly impossible task for these creatures. A good example of this can be found in the case of this deer that has found itself entangled in a man-made structure. A fence, to be precise. Its struggle caught the attention of a local farmer. Fortunately, the resident took immediate action, stepping in to assist the distressed creature. The deer, pinned helplessly, would have faced a bleak and potentially fatal situation. If not released, it could have suffered a slow and agonizing decline, brought on by a lack of food and water. Or worse yet, and this is tough to think about, its helpless state could have attracted unwanted attention from predators, turning it into an easy prey. 
But have no fear, thanks to the timely intervention of a good Samaritan, it was spared from such a cruel fate. It was saved from the brink of starving, dehydrating, and the possibility of becoming someone's meal. While it's always suggested to be careful when helping in nature, this escape underscores the importance of human intervention when certain types of wildlife are in distress. Just a great camera capture. John lived a quiet life in a remote cabin nestled deep within the woods. Over 10 miles from the nearest neighbor, this place was his sanctuary, a place where he could enjoy a solitude and the natural beauty surrounding him. He had worked hard to achieve this. However, one day, this tranquility was disrupted by an unexpected appearance on his trail camera. He had set the camera up on a game trail near his property, mostly to observe the local fauna. But on that crisp autumn day, while reviewing the images, he came across something that sent chills down his spine. The figure in the frame wasn't a bear, or a wild boar, or a deer. It was a young girl. Her hair the color of sunlit wheat, dirt streaked across her face and clothes. And she had something on her face, something he couldn't make out. It looked like lines, almost like cracked skin. The sight of her in the wild and her clearly unkempt condition was jarring. Her eyes, clear and piercing, stared straight into the camera, and they held a haunting mix of fear and defiance. She was like a ghost in the wilderness, except she wasn't. But who was she, and how did she end up so far away from any form of civilization? With concern mounting, John decided to investigate. He felt the responsibility to find her, to ensure she was safe. Leaving his cabin, he ventured deep into the woods. He followed the same game trail, tracing the path the girl had likely taken. The forest was quiet, eerily quiet, save for the rustle of leaves underfoot and the distant calls of birds overhead. Days turned into nights and the mystery deepened. He discovered signs of her, footprints by a stream, discarded wrappers of food he recognized from his own supplies, and a makeshift shelter near the base of an old oak tree. It appeared she had been surviving in the woods for some time, but each clue he found only seemed to raise more questions. John couldn't help but wonder about her story. Was she lost? Had she run away? He felt a growing sense of worry and a very, very weird feeling of admiration. This girl had survived something. She was tough. Despite her situation, she had managed to survive in this untamed environment, a feat that many grown men wouldn't be able to accomplish. But being a father himself, each passing day without finding her increased his anxiety. He knew the woods could be treacherous, especially for a young girl of this age. Yet he also recognized her resourcefulness and resilience. His mind teetered between hope and dread, the haunting image from the trail camera always at the back of his mind as the days passed. As those days turned into a week, John began to question his solitary existence. In a world so vast, he felt a kinship with this mysterious girl. Maybe they were both outsiders. It seemed so, living on the periphery, separated from the rest of society, but that didn't answer his questions. The girl in the picture remained elusive, her whereabouts unknown. Still, John continued his search, driven by a newfound purpose. The woods that once provided him with solitude were now a labyrinth hiding a mystery. The mysterious young girl with the sunlit hair and resilient gaze. Where was she? While he longed for answers, John knew he was embarking on an uncertain journey. His once quiet life had been upended, replaced by a quest to ensure the safety of a stranger. Oddly, he felt more alive and connected than ever before. The woods, his refuge, had given him a purpose he didn't realize he was seeking, all through the unexpected image of a young girl on his trail camera. In this clip, we have someone filming an unidentified critter in a ditch that's slowly creeping towards them. The guy with the camera stepping back as this thing comes closer. At first look, you might be like, oh yeah, that's a bear cub considering its size and how our friend's backing off. But when the camera gets a fix on it and the creature shows us its side, we're in for a surprise. What is this thing? This creature's a weird mashup of features that you wouldn't normally see together, it seems. It's got this big old head, a tight little body covered in a thick layer of fur, and stubby limbs that look like something off a monkey-rat hybrid. It's the sort of thing that gets you wondering, what on earth are you looking at? But the real kicker is its behavior. 
The creature's both curious and cautious. It's like it wants to check things out, but it's also got that animal instinct telling it to be careful about the human in its space. You can see as it tries over and over to climb up the side of the ditch. Probably searching for a safer spot or just trying to get out of dodge. The tension builds as the creature keeps inching towards the cameraman. What's going on in its head? Is it hungry? Is it just curious? Does it have some deep-seated instincts to connect with people? But just as you're on the edge of your seat, the video cuts off, leaving us hanging. What was this mysterious creature that crossed paths with this cameraman? Do you guys have any ideas? I will hop in here and say this, I watched this a few times, and it wasn't till one of the last two or three times that I watched it that it kind of looks like a dog dressed up in some type of suit. I'm sure you guys know the ones I'm talking about. Sometimes they'll put a lion suit on a dog and it looks like a big lion is running at you. I don't know. Let me know what you guys see. In Oregon's deep forest, people are whispering and getting excited. From the start, it's clear we might be seeing the famous and hard to find creature we all know and love as Bigfoot. This figure standing tall among the trees has clear human-like features, catching our imagination with its mystery. But there's something else that really adds to this already interesting meeting. If you look closely, a surprising discovery appears. Safely riding on the Bigfoot's back, a smaller figure can be seen. This little partner, looking like a baby, holds tightly to its bigger buddy, grabbing onto its fur. The two look very similar, obviously, suggesting a family connection, if anything at all. Now, the idea that these amazing creatures might be Bigfoot and its child opens up many possibilities. Could these hard-to-find creatures have complex family structures and social behaviors? Like humans and other mammals, do they show parental instincts and look after their young? The presence of the baby Bigfoot adds more weight to the idea of a whole species. Could this incredible trail camera footage be the key to understanding the secrets of the elusive Bigfoot's life? we might just find the answer deep in Oregon's forests. This clip is a real head scratcher. Caught in the middle of the night, way deep in the wild, a trail cam was set up to catch some footage of the local critters. And all of his other recordings never hinted at something like this being caught on camera. The owner never saw it coming, but the camera picked up something way out of the ordinary and no one's sure what to make of it. As you watch the video, you'll see this weird figure, all dressed in white, just popping out of nowhere. But it doesn't seem to really hang around, it kind of fades back into the night, just as mysteriously as it showed up. I'm at a loss, is this just a person in a white robe? What do you guys think this bizarre event is all about? Okay, so check this out. We've got a couple of guys just hanging out in their boat cruising along a river. They're recording the shoreline probably for Snapchat or Instagram or something. It's super windy as you can barely understand the original audio. As the camera sweeps over the riverbank, they're expecting to catch some pretty nature shots, maybe a deer or a bird, but then boom, they spot something in the tall grass, a weird figure, all brown shaggy fur. The guy with the camera is puzzled. He even says, here's a dog. But then in the tone of his voice, he goes, what's it doing by the river? You can tell they're in the middle of nowhere and there shouldn't be a dog here. And at first glance, it does look like a dog. But then the plot thickens. This dog suddenly stands up. And it's not on four legs, but two. But instantly, they're staring at a massive, upright creature looking at them. From the grass. The guys in the boat, their jaws drop and this creature bolts. Disappearing into the wilderness with an agility that's startling for its size. They are all left stunned in silence, their minds racing. Adrenaline's pumping with a mix of shock and excitement. The video ends abruptly just giving us a fleeting look at the creature. But the questions it raises are enough to send chills down your spine, I'll admit that. Could it be? Do we think they just stumbled upon Bigfoot? This video is enough to get your imagination running wild. I don't know what this could be. 
It's definitely bipedal, and it doesn't look like any domestic dog to me. I'd love to know your thoughts. Here's another unnerving video filmed deep in the forest. Look closely at the right side of the screen. Between the small opening and the gate, you'll see a strange face. This face doesn't look normal or natural. It has a very old, non-human quality to it. However, it seems to show some human-like intelligence. It quickly notices the camera and then moves away. We're not sure what this creature is. Do you guys have any ideas? Is this some type of skinwalker? Or could this just be an elaborate hoax? I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Let me know.